The biggest thing I want people to remember me for is that, you know, I won here. And when I'm on the court, usually uh, there's another side of me. You know, I've always been one of those guys who's done whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes to you know, be the best player, best competitor I can be. Gerard ties to three and ties to three. Basketball's just been something for me that, like, again, I was born into. I have a lot of old family members who, you know, played basketball, who coached basketball. When I was growing up, my dad was the girls' coach, so I was kind of just at the gym all the time. His handle as a 12-year-old was much better than my handle as a 21-year-old. Is... In eighth grade, it's kind of, you know, when you start getting letters, it's kind of, you know, interesting. I think my family and parents did a really good job of making sure that, you know, I wasn't really focused on that stuff and wasn't really, you know, looking too much into it because at the time I was only 12 or 13 years old and uh, I had a lot of room to grow, a lot of room that I could possibly fail. Yeah, my mom and dad have played the biggest role for sure. Uh, you know, my dad's been more of the athletic guy. Uh, more the one who's been in the gym with me, who even taught me how to play football as well. And my mom, she's been the biggest supporter that I've had. And uh, you know, I credit her for a lot of the things that you know go on off the court. And you know, a lot of people kind of looked at me as a leader. Uh, you know, being a quarterback in football and then a point guard in basketball, it's kind of just something that I guess was assumed. Uh, but you know, you kind of have to learn it. You kind of have to grow into it. And uh, you know, I had a lot of people around you help me out as well. You know, people like Jimmer who went through it as well. And you know, being close to them, they kind of taught me the ways and showed me how to be, and uh, showed me what to do. Gerard breaks the record with that free throw right there. To JG3, who drives and scores the game winner at the buzzer. I mean, one of the things when I was playing the state title here uh, for football was that. Yeah, you could tell there was a lot of Syracuse fans there, more than even just Glens Falls fans. There was a lot of, you know, a little bit of both. That was kind of an appreciation for me and my family. We kind of realized, like, okay, these people really do appreciate me and really want me. Uh, so I just think the connection that I had for Syracuse and, you know, the love I had for this place and the love that, you know, people showed for their team and their support is, uh, it reminded me a lot of Glens Falls. You know, I wanted to be comfortable where I was. I was comfortable at Glens Falls, and uh, this place made me feel comfortable as well. Central New York. I had a great support system, a great community behind me in Glens Falls, and like I said, I felt comfortable with them. And uh, I wanted them to continue the next four years with me as well. And uh, there was no better place to do that than here in Syracuse. You know, it's a hometown school. Uh, playing for like a coach, like Coach Beheim is kind of, you know, once in a lifetime. Um, having people on staff like Coach McNamara and the rest of the staff. G-Mac, he's a guy who's played just like me. Uh, been through everything that I've been through, kind of. And, uh, you know, he said he sees a lot of himself in, in, in me. I think his development uh, is going to be key, but uh, he's got two of the best to ever do it here uh, on the bench. I think the biggest reason I came to Syracuse was my relationship with, uh, you know, coach and just buddy and, you know, his whole family. Uh, you know, I felt part of the family as a whole. You know, I've been really close with these guys for a while, and uh, I think that's just why the connection was so, you know, deep with Syracuse. All fly, buddy, which leaves Gerard open. It's a powerful combination of those two. Being a starting point guard is, you know, uh, for Syracuse has been a dream of mine. I mean, when I first found out that I was in, you know, starting lineup, there was a lot of emotion that ran through me. Uh, but again, you know, you got to be the, the guy who doesn't take it too too far. Uh, you still got to work hard and just make sure that drives you even harder. He's going to give him a three, you got to take it. And Joe Gerard's made his first two. He will this kid his first career start. Block S is huge. I mean, you, you see that everywhere you go, and people know that means Syracuse. And uh, to be representing that and wearing that across your chest each and every game, uh, you have to take it with pride. Uh, you have to take it with honor. Gerard, why not? Yeah, the people before me did a lot uh, for this community and for this team, uh, for Coach Beheim and the rest of the staff. And you know, that's something that I'm trying to do is carry on the tradition. And uh, they've done a lot of winning here. So uh, that's definitely going to be a big thing for me.